So this is important here, okay? At the end, we want to have this pen pattern has not just as well as the line that customer need. By the end of this video, you will know how to grade pants pattern in close 3D using the auto grading function. Easy step by step. I will share with you some tips and tricks to grade these pants pattern into multiple sizes from small, medium to large. Then we will bring these graded patterns to Adobe Illustrator and give them a finished look. Okay, so we just graded these pants pattern. Now we're going to grade it size medium, okay? We will repeat this step. First of all, this is important. We want to delete these pattern pieces, okay? As well as the sign to selected pattern. So after that, I'm going to come over here. While that transform pattern tool is active, I'm going to just command or control plus letter A to select all these pattern pieces. Then press the delete or backspace to delete. Next, I'm going to come over here to this objects browser and I'm going to click on this delete icon right here to delete that. Just like that. Next, I'm going to come over here to file and I want to add that garments file that we have earlier. So come to add and then go to Garmin. Click on it. Okay, so as you can see right here, this is a size small that we graded earlier. I'm going to select the garments pan that we have, the original file that we created earlier. Then come down here, click on open. And once again, open post and size window pop up. Click on OK. All right. We are going to just pan it to the left a little bit. Then I'm going to Objects Browser. So by default, since we use the grading tab before it stay active for us. So that's perfect. I'm going to select this Add an icon right here. Okay. Then this time I'm going to double click on that side and change it to Medium. And press Return into on the keyboard to confirm. After that, I'm going to once again Command or Control plus letter A to select all that pattern PC. However, though, guy, see right here the particle distance, we have to change it to 20. I almost forget about that. So you must change that to 20, okay? Or it won't work properly and we don't want that. All right. So I just changed this particle distance to 20. So after that, I'm going to come over here assign the side onto these pattern pieces, okay? Once again, come to this twirling arrow right there. And if you have uh, the mouse long enough, you will see assign to selected pattern and that's what we want. And this will bring this information window. Once again, we're going to click OK to confirm. All right, next, this is very important. We have to select a medium size for this avatar or it's great size small, we don't want that. We are going to double click on that size medium right there. Okay, so as you can see, the avatar kind of shift. However, we want to be sure if that is a size medium, we have to check it. So to check the avatar size, click on that avatar, then come to this property editor and come down here, you see on the size is medium. That's what we want. After that, I'm going to come down here to this 2D toolbar and click on that auto grading function. And this will bring up this auto grading window. By default, maintain curvature 100%, maintain graphics sidebar unchecked. That's what we want. And I'm going to click on OK. After that, I'm going to click one on the page to deselect. Then I'm going to rotate the avatar a little bit. So our pan looks just perfect. Next, I'm going to come over here to file and export that medium size pants pattern. Okay, to export, come down here to export. Then hover the mouse to the right and then select Adobe PDF. Once again, I'm going to name it M underscore pants. Then I'm going to save into that same folder and come down here, click on save. And once again, by default, 
Chloe tried to help us, which is leave everything as is. However, I still want to check this twirling arrow right here to see if any changes is perfect. Then I'm going to just bring it up here a little bit and then click on OK to confirm. All right. Once again, I'm going to pan this to the left just a little bit. Now I'm going to either mark key and select all the pattern pieces and press the delete and backspace on the keyboard or I can command or control plus letter A to select all the pattern pieces. Then press the little backspace on the keyboard to delete. After that, I'm going to come over here to this object browser and click on the delete icon there to delete. All right, next, I'm going to come over here to file. And then we are going to add once again that garments file. Click on it and select garments pan ready to grade and then click open and we are going to click on yes okay so once again by default all the pattern pieces are selected i'm going to come over here to the property editor and change the particle distance so let me scroll it up to get to this particle distance here and click to highlight and type in 20 and press return into the keyboard to confirm after that i'm going to come over here to this once again grading icon right here under this object browser and i'm going to click on this add button right there and this time i'm going to double click and then name the side to l then i'm going to press return into the keyboard to confirm so as you can see right here we need to select all these pattern pieces, okay, to apply the new side. To do that, I'm going to once again come to this transform pattern tool, click on it. Then I'm going to command or control plus letter A to select all the pattern pieces right there and come to this objects browser and click on this see right here the twirling arrow to assign the side this will bring up this information window and we are going to click on ok to confirm all right and as you can see right here all these points appear onto the pattern then i'm going to come over here to this my avatar size and i'm going to double click on this petite size l to apply okay so double click all right so as you can see right here the avatar just shift however we also want to double check if the size is l or not just click on the avatar then come to the property editor and as you can see right here petite size l that's what we want after that, I'm going to come over here to this 2D toolbar and click on this auto grading icon. And by default, maintain pattern curvature 100%, maintain graphic side box and check. And I'm going to click on OK. Okay, next, I'm going to click one on the page to deselect from the avatar. Then I'm going to just kind of rotate the avatar a little bit, see if any changes. Actually, it changed to fit the side light perfectly. So next, I'm going to pan this 2D window to the left a little bit. And I'm going to, my key selects this pan pattern right here and then just bring it downward a little bit. And after that, I'm going to come over here to file and i want to come to export and hover the mouse to the right and export adobe pdf then i'm going to name it l underscore pants then navigate to the folder that i want to save and click on save this will bring up this export pdf window by default scale millimeter 100 percent do not rotate and margin by centimeter on every corner left right top bottom and this box is checked and just click on the twirling arrow just to make sure so we leave that blink and right here we check this perfect and i'm going to click on okay 
So next, I'm going to save this file as a project file. So I can come back and edit or do whatever to it for later. Okay, to do that, I'm going to come over here to file, then save as and then select project. Then I'm going to name large underscore pants projects. Then I'm going to once again select the same folder, which is pen grading, and I'm going to click on save. Now I'm safe to get out the clone. To do so, I'm going to come over here to this red X, click on it to close. Okay, there you have a design lista. I hope you find this video useful and remember to sub and click on the bell for more awesome videos. Thank you.